So I've saw things again with you with hopefully another interesting listen. And this one's from the Stranglers, of course, and a song called Golden Brown. Standard tuning, no capos, okay? So uh, if you want to play along with the Stranglers recorded track, um, you would need to put your capo on the first fret. Okay, and then play everything I'm about to show you, but with a capo on the first fret, okay? Then you should be in tune with the record, okay? So, let's get to it. So, it's a bit tricky to sing and play this at the same time, but uh, it's quite an interesting song to play. Okay, starts off with an A minor, to an E minor, to an F, to a C. First part of the intro. And what I start off, I usually start it with an open A string, and then the A minor strum, and an upstroke, okay? And then the bottom E string on the E minor, and two down strokes. I can't really explain this strumming to you on this, you need to listen to the track and uh, try and work it out for yourself and try and get your strumming hand to play the rhythm of the track. Uh, I play it different every time I play it, okay, so, but I'll try and give you as much guidance as I can, okay, so open A string, up, start with an up stroke, okay. Bottom E string on E minor, strum, strum, down, okay. Then I'm playing an F bar chord. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I like to get the bass E bottom E string in. And then a couple of down strokes on that, okay. Although it's, it's basically down, up, down, sort of. Okay, just roughly, and then what you do is you go to the C chord. If you can't play the bar chord, by the way, just play a simple F. Okay, doesn't mean you can't play the song. If you can't play the bar chord, just play a simple F. But when you try and hit that bottom, uh, the third fret of the fourth string, when you start playing the F. So if you're playing it that way, it's a uh, so it's. Hit that note first, third fret of the fourth string, before we start strumming the F. Root note first, okay? So, let me go to the C chord, so it's... But I don't actually strum the C. I form the C chord, a basic C chord, and I play the fourth string along with the third string. Okay, then lift off the second finger and play an open fourth and an open third together. Okay. Then put that second finger back and play the fifth string on the third fret with the fourth string. Those two together, yeah? So you got. Alright, so far. Then finally. Put your whichever finger you want, I use my second finger, down to the second fret on the fifth string and play the um, fifth string along with the open fourth. Okay, so I mean, you could play that third on the fifth with the open fourth as well if you want to. You probably wouldn't hear the difference if you when you're playing it. All right, so. But you can put the finger back if you want to, okay? But 
you could play that along with the open fourth as well. It's up to you if you find you're going so quick it doesn't really sound too badly. Okay, so so from the beginning. Okay, got that. Ba, 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 ba. And then back to the A minor again. Playing it the easy F way. Uh... Okay, got the idea. Okay, so you do that three times. You do that whole thing three times, and on the fourth time you do E minor. Oh, sorry, A minor, sorry, to the E minor as usual. But instead of going to the F, you go to a G chord, either that shape or that shape, as long as it's a G chord, okay, and the bum bum, hit the bass note and then the strum, up and down, and then we play a basic F chord, and again with some more double stops now, I'm playing the fourth string and the third string together, then I'm going down to the second fret on the fourth string and playing that along with the open third. And then the open fourth and the open third together. And then finally the third fret of the fifth string. And if you actually actually hit it with the fourth string open it doesn't matter too much. Third on the fifth with the open fourth doesn't sound too bad. And then you go into the core of the actual verse itself, which is D minor to C all the time, okay? And it's like. Hit the fourth, if you hit the fourth string first, and then. Right. So up. And then sort of three down strokes on the D would do. Okay, that sort of thing. And that's all the way through the verse, okay? So let's just go from the intro, okay, again, slowly. Obviously uh, this is designed for a single acoustic guitar, there are some other bits that you could put in, um, make it m m sort of even more fancy, like on the D minor to the C, instead of going um, like a, you 
could go. Um, it's, uh, that sort of thing. If you've got, especially if you've got another guitarist with you, that other guitarist could be going instead of just going D, D minor to C. You could be going. Uh, got the idea? So, so you play the bottom, the D string open, right, and then just strum the rest of the, the D minor. Then you play the third fret of the fourth string. And the second on the third, so it's right, got those two notes. Open third, second on the fourth, third on the fifth. So it's right. That sort of thing, okay. Well, that sort of thing. So if you had a second guitarist, uh, that would be quite a nice thing to put in there. I think if you try to do that and sing it, you might get yourself into a bit of a mess. <laughs> but you could try it. <laughs> anyway, or you could just go... Um, the other way you could do it is... Uh, uh, there's another way you could do it by strumming it, a, a mixture of strumming and picking, is to play the D... And then play the C chord, but strum it down from the third string, open, strum, fourth string, strum, third string, strum. So, so, so you strum down from the third string, then the fourth string, and then the fifth string. Sorry. Okay. So there's different ways you can play it, okay, uh, depending on how easy you find it to sing over that sort of thing. <laughs> that's, that's not too bad, I think. But uh, ideally you could, should get that note in, where it goes. So you need a second guitarist, really. No, just <laughs> Anyway. Have fun with that. I'll see you in the next lesson.